what we got over here. What's up? Going away. Oh, a snake? A oh yeah, I see him. Little little snake. I see him. Let's get some video of this snake. Don't bite. Don't bite. It's okay. Don't bite. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. He's a pretty snake. Where are you going, Brandy? That is a king snake. Oh, I thought it was a rat snake. That's a king snake. Yeah, cool. that's sick, man. That's pretty. King snakes usually won't bite you. Uh, he don't think he, he was acting like he was gonna strike, but let's get you over here, buddy. There we go. All right. Get off my hand! I made love. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. On today's episode, we are around the side of Highway 10 fixing to hit some new trails today. Uh, apparently, they got a blue, a green, like a tarantula or something like that. We're going to check that out too. I think it's called the Blue Mountain State. I don't know. Trail system, something like that. But the good news on today's episode, we've got Big Sister Branda H and Big Brother Kevin. They're going to be joining us on the ride today. Wolfman with the Z bikes. They've got e bikes. I am on the Amish bike today. I'll be riding the uh, uh, Marin San Quentin 3, the bike that I crashed on. So hopefully everything goes good on today's episode. Yes, it's welcome to Blue Mountain Natural Area. All right, this is, uh, like I said, on the side of Highway 10. And where is this considered? Is this? It's right outside Little Rock. Here we've got the Luna Moth Trail. You guys have probably seen when we did Wolfman's The Greatest Dropper Review video ever. You guys it wasn't a dropper review. If you guys seen that episode, uh, we've ridden on the Luna Moth Trail. But we thought, you know what, we need to come back here, do a little bit of a trail review for you guys, and show you what all to expect here at the Blue Mountain Natural Area um, in Arkansas. Big Sister Branda, come over here. We want her to point out the maps. Yes. Now, I am, map I am terrible with maps, but Homegirls have been doing a <laughs> the research, and uh, she should be able to help us out here. Big sister brand to everybody. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's so what do you want in the ride today? I, I, I We've ridden this one, the Luna Moth Trail. Okay. I know you. it looked like you guys had gone down Dew Drop. That's yes. the one with the wood features? Yes. On it looked like you guys went up Dew Drop, but that, that's more of a downhill. When you get to these um, markers, uh -huh. I don't know if you noticed, on the bottom, it shows the elevation profile of the trail. Oh, cr I have. No I clue. saw it on the video. Well, you're a map person. I don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> we have not ridden this yet, so we'll probably be focusing a little bit more on this drill today, um, and then we'll probably come back and maybe hit this yellow this way. Would yes. that make sense? Yes. Okay. So that's your peak right there. Okay. Because you see, there's no more circles, yeah. and it goes down. So that's a steeper face. Okay. Than over here. Okay. So yep. Yeah, All right. That's what similar, that means. Similar to a thumbnail, a thumbprint. Yes, kind of, yeah. Kind of like a thumbprint, yeah. people. I'm damn, this channel is scientific. <laughs> Little did you know how much you would be learning on today's episode. All right? Big sister Brenda, let's get ready to get, let's get these bikes ready. Uh, guys, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. All right? Turn your notifications on. Comment. Uh, do you like these episodes where we just kind of go out and ride? This is a uh, multi-use trail, as you guys can tell. Um, I, I'm guessing most people stay away from the blue. I'm guessing most people stay away from the blue side. Again, this is the green part of the trail, um, but that blue kind of stretches out. So this is kind of a cool little three-mile loop for people. Thank you. But what's nice without here, um, they've done so much work. Uh, they've been doing a controlled burn all the way throughout. So you guys can see how clean it is. And the, what I appreciate about that, since the multi-use trail, at least right now with this part of the season, um, you can see all the way through the woods and all that. Probably gonna change 
um, when summer hits. But for right now, it's nice because you can see ahead and people are more welcome to, uh, are very, very uh, cautious and they can see you so they can get out of your way. Nothing more annoying than when you're on a bike trail and there's people that aren't paying attention. Now I can tell we've done some climbing already. The elevation change is very, very smooth. There's no abrupt climbs whatsoever. And it's nice long stretches. When I'm on a trail, I would say one of the most annoying things is when you're having to climb and they've tried to do way too much with uh, as little of space as they've got. So it's zigzag, bam, 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 bam. And then you can look right here and you'll go, oh, I was just on that piece. Then you look right here and you go, okay, well, that's gonna be the next part I'm on. That right there will drive somebody nuts on a mountain bike. As soon as I say that, we have the whip around, but see, it stretches itself out away from itself. I appreciate that. Let me point this out and show you guys exactly where we're at. Okay, so right now we're right here at this point, right? We took off from the parking lot. We took the left. Very easy ride again. Not very much elevation at all, but we did gain a little bit. Now we're fixing to hit this downhill portion. So the other thing I really like about this trail system, and what drives me nuts about a lot of trails um, here in Arkansas, is, well, not necessarily here in Arkansas, all over the place, um, is they're not listed. Like, this is great right here. Look at this. We've got Lunamaw Trail, the trail we're on right now. Um, it also tells you it's a three mile trail, multi-directional, and it shows you pictures um, saying that is multi-purpose as well. Um, hey, Big Sister Brenda, you were saying that these lines represent what? Well, no, not on that. That's, that's just elevation your elevation. Profile yeah, that's your trail. elevation profile. Elevation profile. Yeah. Okay. So that's what that is. There's the elevation profile. Um, but everything is listed and it's like here to last. You know, there's a lot of trails out there. You either don't get little spots like this or um, they don't really tell you where you're at. For guys like me that don't ride with a phone, that's that's useful a lot of the times. Everything has got a name to it, so it's going to be pretty difficult to get lost. I appreciate that. Pre-ride. It's called pre-ride. Even a little bench area, that's cool. All right, guys, let's hit this downhill. And I've ridden this one time before um, here recently, but we pretty much pre rode it last time we were on here. Okay. A little barn build up there. Not necessarily a big old sidewall, but oh, we got mud. You know that upset wolf, man. Just got to go around it. Fun little first portion there. I like whenever you've got those berms and they just, they're built up really tall just to shoot you out of the corner. Kind of like this one here. Not too much of a decline, but pretty neat design. All right, here we go. We're going to catch up to Wolf, man. All flow right now. Not a lot of pedaling. If there was nobody in front of me, I'd be definitely hitting the pedals in this portion. Okay, not really a berm here. A little bit of a loose gravel action. Very loose here. Okay, cool little wooden bridge feature wolfman's locking them up very neat how the rocks all cut out through there we got a little stump action a little log can we keep the balance can we keep the balance oh we kept the balance nice that'd be interesting to try to hit at a higher rate of speed a little sketch i'm coming all the way through i see another wooden bridge up there That's pretty. So pretty much that area back there, other than the right after the log pretty much, is downhill. This right here is now starting to become incline. Oh, this is cool. I love how the design here, oh, sorry, big brother Kevin H. I was just talking about, don't you love how the wood is all cut out for the rocks? The rock. That is so cool. That is neat. Looks like they got a little happy with the control burn over here. But this is really cool. Lean into it. Now we're getting some more downhill. We're going to catch Wolfman pretty quick. A little feature. That's a cool little feature. I always like those little natural features. 
until they start to erode, Mount Nebo has a big erosion problem down there on the Chickalaw Loop. Um, but the good thing with this is it's all accessible. So let's hope in the future, if they have trail days on the weekends, we can actually come down and help some people with the trail days and they don't put them in the weekdays. Um, you know, everything is, like I said, just really accessible. So let's hope if they do have one, we can come out here and help them out with it um, because it's not very far away from the parking lot whatsoever. Another little feature up here. Nice, that was awesome. A lot of fun. Now we're just flowing. I've been pedaling. Very smooth. Um, and again, this uh, they've done a great job with cleaning of this trail. There's not a whole bunch of uh, baby heads, right? And down here is actually pretty tight as far as the gravel is concerned. It's been dry, so it's a little bit dusty, but definitely not to the point where you feel like you're um, you're going to lose traction. And then see like little areas like this to get that little berm built up. Nothing crazy, but just enough. That's the fun trail. Yeah, that was a lot of. That's a fun green downhill trail. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Rollable features, so you don't die. So we can we can come back up this way and hit the yellow again, and then how would we get to the blue from here? So you could go up or go down. Okay, so we'd have to go up to right where we came from, then take that right. Okay, yes, okay. Or go down, which Kevin thinks that the tarantula hawk. Why is he always in the middle of the trail? Lower that way, because nobody's coming. Okay, so this was basically going sections. up. Um, so oh, we're, we, and ride. we, we to took a left at the parking lot, went up the Luna Moth Trail, got to the downhill, took the downhill yeah, portion. Fine. Now we're at the intersection. Intersection, yeah. thank you. And we're going to go left or right? We're going to go right. So that's back toward the parking lot. Okay. But it also goes toward the bottom part of Tarantula Hall. Is there a sign around here? Yes, okay. there's so signs we're, right here. So we're going the way we... So there's a map over here. Yeah, All right, let's go see what we're getting ourselves into. Apparently it might be turning into a cluster. All right, now we take the left here and let's go right to Tarantula Trail. Okay, we're officially on Tarantula Trail now. I'm terrible with maps. Really beautiful rock structures out here. This is all natural. Oh, I thought we were gonna be able to, oh, you could ride through that. Ooh, that's a little sketch. That's a little sketch. It is. Dude, don't shoot that bike out from under you. <laughs> At least I'm recording now. A little sketch. Did that start with the pedal strike? Yeah. It's super, like, tiny over here. <laughs> no, I needed to come from back there. It's not going to happen. That's fun to try, though. Fun to try. It's just, it's kind of awkward. I actually think it'd be easier this way. Oh, hang on. He wants to hit it from this side now. That's a heck of an incline there. Oh. And that was right on his bottom bracket, but there's a pad there. We're good. This guy's getting like meat like. All right. All right. Yeah. Are you done now? Okay, now we're done. <laughs> Kevin's feature. All right, that's better. Leave me, brother Kevin H's feature on the tarantula trail. Now we're getting to smell all that nature, all the pine trees, everything else out here. And yeah, I doubt a lot of people would actually come out here. Like we said, this is a multi-use trail except for that downhill portion. I doubt a lot of people would come out here um, on this trail to hike because it, cause it, it does get a ways away from the parking lot. And if you're hiking, I don't really know if you want to be that far away from people. Mountain bike is another story with your form of transportation. This is pretty. You hear the birds in the background. Such a good windbreak up here too. Very windy and then you get to these <clears throat> big power line cutouts. You feel all that wind. This is nice. Oh, we're gonna ride on the power line cutouts now. 
Yep. So that point there is Mount Magazine? No, not Mount Magazine. Pinnacle Mountain. That's the pinnacle point. Here we go. Some more technical stuff here. Technical climbing. I don't mind this kind of technical climbing. A lot of little rocks and kind of a little bit of chunk here and there. Not bad. It definitely does make for a, a little bit more of a challenging ride, but it is a lot of fun. I bet Wolfman's loving this water. It does become fun when you have to start challenging yourself to work with your bike, with the balance, and having to keep traction the entire time as well. Looks like we've got some more riders up here. Oh, they hikers. We've got some hikers up here. Some hikers. So. Thank you. We got uh, one more back. Oh, crap. Pedal strike, strike essential for sure over here. But again, it's nice to have to pick your lines and keep that speed up so you don't tip over and have to dab. Is that what they call it? Oh, man. Yeah, he'll be fine. Let's hear what Wolfman has to say. I'm sure he's going to just love that little section we just hit. You see the hikers? Yeah, they were my audience picture. Oh yeah? Did you show off in front of them? Uh, I was uh, the problem I didn't get a chance to lower my seat. <laughs> I needed it right. I needed it lower right. I went I went to hit it and I was like, ah, it's too late. Hey, I'm glad you got that on video. He said he needed to lower his seat. Yeah, I, well, now, well, now obviously if I better use it right there. I was trying to use it, but I went through it without using it. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta get now. I haven't yeah, used it. Well, I, I've used it. 10 times more today than I did last time. <laughs> this takes the right trail. with the guys the fellas the ladies um as to uh, what we think so much so far about this trail what do you think so far about the trail i've enjoyed it i like the techie bits there have yeah. been a few that have been above my skill level but uh -huh. it's it's fun to push yourself sometimes yeah no definitely is. i think this trail is really good for that uh so we are right here right now okay yeah so if we continue up uh let's see all right we're over here at the crossroads so this goes to rattlesnake ridge area on this side this is where we're at right now funky crossroads uh, if we continue where we're going, which is going to be the blue trail, we'll be coming back on the tarantula trail. Crazy map. What are you thinking so far? It's not bad. Not yeah. bad. I'm up in my face. Um, you know, there's walky bits. Uh, some, the motor helps to get over stuff, rocks, but uh, no, it's not too bad. It's very pretty out too. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's very pretty. All right, guys, let's continue. Let's go find this damn point. I'm ready. All right, guys, so we've definitely changed up um, the landscape for the most part. The entire mountain was on our left. Now it's over here on our right. We're still kind of zigzagging through everything. Uh, elevation change, big time. Um, kind of some little switchbacks and things while we're climbing. Nothing too crazy just yet, but... Um, the trail finally widened up a little bit more instead of going through <clears throat> like a bunch of trees and stuff. <laughs> trail has definitely opened up a little bit more, which I'm liking. And I think if we had gone the left way, or no, if we'd gone the right way through the right from the parking lot to hit the tarantula trail, I think it would have been a faster way to get to the point. I'm not sure. I could be just totally confused. Um, but uh, it's been an awesome ride so far. A lot of cool little technical spots. Um, again, you know, this is the climbing portion of it here. Not the funnest, but they've done a great job with really leveling these trails out and not making it seem like you're just climbing the entire time. All right. Oh, are we here? 
I see helmets off of bikes. I think we're here, guys. I think this is the lookout. The famous lookout. All right, let's see what we've got. Take your line. We found it. We found it. We found it. Or I should say we made it. We made it. <laughs> you guys ever seen that movie Bushwhacked? <laughs> you gonna pee off there? Yeah. I'm fixing to. Now let me get over there because it's blowing this way. The damn, this is, all the benches over this damn place. There's no benches up here. <laughs> you sit on a rock. I know. Yeah, find the That's a beautiful rock. spot up here. I want to find one up before you drive here. You happy we made it up here? Uh, I would have been. I mean, I'm I'm enjoying everything except for the trail. <laughs> the, rock, the rock can go to hell. <laughs> Big sister Brandon, what do you think? Uh, it's fun. Yeah. Pretty view. Yeah, very good view. Be nice to have like a little, get you a little snack. Mm-hmm. So where you bring your beer up or something? I don't drink beer, but some people do. It's pretty. Yeah, you can see pretty. from really far. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> voice is cracking. <laughs> well, you'll hit puberty when we Oh. All right, guys. Well, that was another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We appreciate you guys watching as always. That was a little trail ride. We're just going to go ahead and skip all the way riding back Can home you for you. Me? Unless I die, then we might cover that. <laughs> yeah, if Wolfman dies, we will definitely cover that. Uh, again, this is a beautiful view. What are the trails out here called again? Huh? Blue Mountain Ridge. Blue, Blue Mountain Natural or Area. Blue Mountain. Natural. Blue Mountain Natural Area. Such a cool uh -oh. ride. Um, I just really appreciate that. Like we're up here in elevation. I'm not sure what the numbers are, but again, I just appreciate that the trails are long stretch. There's not a bunch of zigzagging and just uphill the entire time. Like they do a good job of being able to actually go through the landscape, experience you. everything, and then get to this point. You know, without with minimal climbing. Wow. Blue Trail. Um, I really enjoyed it. That green trail was a lot of fun getting up here. Um, and then that little downhill portion was a lot of fun too, you know? You have any uh, thing you want to say, Brenda? No. Okay. Just come out and ride. It's fun. Big Brother Kevin H, what's your opinion on the overall trail system so far? Downhill, green, and the blue. Thumb up. He's All snacking. Right. Wolfman, he's over. All right, guys. Well, I, no, I think it's great. Just think the, the, the rocks that you can't decide to go around are not suck. Yeah. All right, guys. We will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. I think I like everything about this trail except for the unavoidable yeah. rocks.